outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are at Target and we are looking at all the stuff that they have so far for Christmas because you know they will be coming out with more items. My Target was a little bit on slim pickings when it came to their Wonder Shop but they did have some good items in their Target dollar spot. I honestly stop by like maybe three times a week and go through what they have so that's where I have how I've gotten lucky with getting like the new stuff that comes out because I know things go pretty quick when it comes to um, certain things at the dollar spot. So I'm just showing you some of their ceramic trees. They have these tiny little ones for a dollar and then their bigger ones for five. And they also have the really nice ones on the bottom. I picked up one of those and those are five dollars as well. And they light up, which is just always a plus. In this little section here, I saw some stuff that I hadn't seen before. Now I've seen these ski lifts everywhere, they're $5, but I had not seen this um, wooden sign. It kind of looks like it has like a canvas kind of just pinned to it. Really like that for $5, and it's a pretty decent size. Hearth in Hand always comes out with the cutest stockings 
and they also have really cute wreaths. Honestly, just the line that they come out with is always amazing. They also have these little bells, garland, which I think it's a vintage silver, and it's $12.99. And they also have this bell as well, which I thought was really cute, and it does work as well. I do wish, though, that they came out with a bell in that brassy color since it would match so well with that Letters to Santa, which I'm in love with. I believe it is $40. It is heavy and it is very, very good quality. I think it is such a good piece. I think it's probably one of the top pieces that they came out with this year. The garland that they had down here was such a good one. It had the red berry picks and also some acorns on there and I believe it was $24.99 which for a garland I feel like is a pretty decent price. your hand if your target section here with all of the towels is always a jumbled mess it makes it so hard for me to shop because if I'm either in a rush or if I just simply don't have the patience to look through it I will not um, and I'm pretty sure that ends up missing some really great items that they have but am I the only one whose target has a completely like just jumbled they also had this really cute blanket, very neutral, but it still had that pop of red. Now moving over to the area where they have their Studio McGee. I love these rattan bells. I think they're so cute. They're ornaments, but I personally would just use them for decor. This Studio McGee Garland is so good and it is $30. The branches on that one, I don't know, it's just they just look so realistic. And also down here you can tell somebody made some choices and was like, mm, we're just gonna put these stockings back. had some really cute little pom-pom garland and I really like this garland it said Merry Christmas because it's actually a metal and not like a paper and for $15 I feel like that's a great since you'll be able to store it for another year. Moving on to some of the picks that they have I honestly think you can get a better deal at Hobby Lobby but that's my biased opinion. They did have some good ones like this one was Hearth and Hand and I believe it was $7.99 and it was pretty full that you probably only needed one if you were doing something with a smaller vase. But then again, I think you could probably get a better deal at Hobby Lobby.
I was happy to see though that they had a bunch of these little trees as well as the ceramic ones um, and these wooden ones. So if you are going for that very neutral look, I think this would fit very well into your decor. And they even have like that rattan, so if you're going for like more of like a bohemian look, um, they did have those options which I thought were really beautiful which you'll just see in just a second when I get my life together in the camera. There we are. I thought those were really pretty. Now the really small ceramic ones that you see on top, they're $10. Go to the Target dollar spot, you're going to get a better deal. Moving on to the Target Wonder Shop area, we're just going to be starting off with some ribbon and going over um, the different options they had. I really liked that one and it was $5. Very, very neutral.
I really like this little section that they had. They had a bunch of like little games that you could play. They also had these advent calendars which I thought were a little different. Usually they're always candy and this time they were little art kits or craft kits. They had two different ones and I honestly think when I was there I missed one because I did see another one in the corner. I'm not exactly sure what it was. There was somebody else trying to look and I didn't want to get in their way. way too early but my target really just had things thrown in random places where it was really hard to find pricing on certain things because they were just randomly placed you'll see kind of I'm gonna get to kind of do a, like a pan over of this section you'll see how empty the shelf is there's a lot of dead spots on it <laughs> For five dollars which I thought was a really good buy considering that you would probably see these in any other section for 15 so I was honestly surprised to see them for five they are like a mustardy color but I think they were really really cute When it comes to their outdoor decor, they had some really cute items. In my personal opinion, I think that Target's markup on them is just a little high because you can find a lot of similar things at Walmart, which they are going to be a little bit cheaper at Walmart, but I didn't see anything that they had that was necessarily special or something out of the ordinary that you don't see at every store. down here they had this pack of three trees for ten dollars I think this is a great buy for the amount that you get I loved these galvanized houses that they had for ten dollars they're pretty good size and this little silo with the windmill was my absolute favorite Now today I did go over some wrapping paper a little bit. They had three for 12 and I kind of just showed some ones that I think stood out to me that were different that I've never seen or just patterns that I really liked that caught my eye. Thank you. 
Now finishing up this last section, they had these really cute aprons um, that were matching so you could get one for yourself and one for your kid. And they also had the matching oven mitt and pot holders. And that's going to be ending today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Please don't forget to subscribe and like today's video. It helps out my channel so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.